Okay, here we go. A demonstration on um, actually the chords that I use for um, Georgia on my mind. So we're in G. I'm gonna. I nick the first part off Joe Robinson. He's done a great job on that. So we're in G, B diminished, C, D flat diminished, G. So. The B diminished is fingered by first finger, second fret, A string, second finger, G string, second uh, fret, and the ring finger is third fret uh, on the D string, and the pinky is down on the third fret, B string. So we get. So, and then we're doing a C. You could easily. Could easily do it here, but we're doing it here, just a different inversion of it. So, and then we're going to do this. Which is a D flat diminished, fingered by putting your first finger on the third fret um, and barring from the G to the high E. Second finger is on the fourth fret of the A string. Your third ring finger is on the D string fifth fret and your pinky's down on the B string fifth fret so again so I put this next bit I put that next bit in so I'm walking down from the on the A string to the uh, from the second fret to the fifth fret then doing this So I'm barring across here from the D to the high E and I'm putting my second finger on the, uh, so when I'm barring across from the D to the E, I'm on the third fret, then I'm putting my second finger on the fourth fret of the D string. The third finger is on the A string fifth fret. So, uh, and then I'm back into my G. We're into the song now. So walk up here, third, we're on the third fret of the bass E, open, first fret of the A, second fret of the A. I'm gonna alternate this, this second finger on the A and E string. E minor, G7, C, D flat diminished, G. So walk up here, second fret on the bass E, first fret on the bass E, open, A7, now we're in a D9, remember when we talked about B7 and we said if we move this pinky over from the E string to the B string and slide it down, we'd get a D9, C9, so, so your first finger would land on the third fret and then that makes it a D9. And then G, G7, say, and then C9 to make it more bluesy. Doing that walk up to a B7, then so landing back on the G, then walk up to the B7, then. So if I played that at a different tempo, it might sound like. Familiar James Bond. So, do, 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 do. so what I'm doing here, an E minor, I'm putting my first finger down on the B string first fret, then my pinky down on the second fret of the B string. Open B, first fret B, second fret B. Oh. Ooh, arms reach out to me. I We go to F sharp major seven, barring across on the second fret with the first finger. Second finger is on the G string, third fret, and the ring finger is on the A string, fourth fret. Then we shift the um, second finger to the B string, and the 
the ring finger to the D string to get a B minor seven. Then A sharp minor seven, then A minor seven, and then D nine. Then we're back into. And I finish off with going up to B7. A minor 7. Do that walk up again to this, this uh, G minor major 7 slash D chord. And then the Joe Robinson turn around. D flat diminished G. G major seven. So people who just want to do it simple, it's the first finger, second fret on the high E string, and your second finger is on the bass E string, third fret. Then playing from the D down. Same thing, it's just different voice. So I hope that's helped you out. It won't suit everyone's style of learning, but that's a topic for another video. Um, it's just a demonstration. I wouldn't call it a tutorial because I don't do tabs and I don't do music. Um, I just show people the fingering I use on the chords and stuff like that to different songs that I've learned. So hopefully that will help you play that song. Have loads of fun with it. I'll be back with another demonstration soon. Till then, take care. Peace and love.